Hi, I'm Angie. Today I'm going to show you a card made with the Life is a Beach Cricut cartridge. And I thought this was really cute and I haven't seen it shown before. And it's the photo card and it's available on each icon in the handbook. And I wasn't quite sure how it worked until I tried it myself, so I thought I would show you. I made this Bon Voyage card and what it does is cut out a frame so that you can put a photo behind it and then a little icon that you can pop up on the front. So you can decorate it any way you want of course but I just thought it was so cute. So the one I've chosen to make is the photo card with this flower here and it's on the number three icon on page 34. So the first thing I did was cut out the card frame in white cardstock and I cut this at five and a half inches. This one that I did in the Bon Voyage was six and a half, but I wanted to make this one a little bit smaller. So I cut it out first in the white cardstock, and what happens is it cuts out the card and gives you the little score marks so that you can score it, and then also cuts out the icon in the center here in the negative space that you're not going to need. So I just wanted to show you that when you cut this out, this is what's gonna pop up over here. So then I cut it again, and it cut out the flower that goes in the middle in pink cardstock so that I had a coordinating color. But then I just stopped the machine so it didn't completely cut out the card because then it would just waste my cardstock. So you just want to cut that out again in the chosen color you want. Then I cut the card out one more time using a pattern paper that I want to cover the cardstock with. So I picked this one that looked kind of Hawaiian themed. And then I cut out the title words. I knew that my card was about five and a half inches uh, wide, so what I wanted to do was cut the title so that it would fit the length, and I shaved off a little bit on each side. So I wanted it to fit five inches. So I pressed my fit to length button with the title words, and it cut out the aloha. What I'm gonna do is just trim off this flower and just use the words. So now I can assemble the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the card base. And I just did this in white cardstock. And I don't need this because I've cut it out in a colored cardstock. And the first thing you want to do is score your card where the tick marks are. I've bought this Martha Stewart scoreboard, which has proven to be very, very nice. And I'm just going to line it up and score it where the tick marks are. Now I'm just going to remove my designer paper and I'm, score, I'm going to score that as well. Press too hard on the designer paper because it's pretty delicate. So this is going to cover the card just like that. So using your favorite adhesive you glue that layer on top. Next I'm going to take the icon that I cut out for the center. my little pink flower. And you could embellish this any way you want. You could ink it up or use stickles or a little bit more pattern paper. And that's going to go right there. And I think it looks really cute if you pop it up. So I'm just gonna ink this up a little bit. Okay, so I glued the designer paper layer onto the white background. And the next step is to attach our photo on the inside of the card frame, just like that. So use a little adhesive just on the edge. And position your photo so that it looks nice. And what you can do is get an extra piece of cardstock to cover up in here the back of the photo. I also want to ink up the edges of the sign of paper. And I ran my little flower through the cuddle bug. Now I'm going to pop it up using dimensionals. It fits perfectly. Pop out my greeting. So I have my aloha, which will fit perfectly. And I just want to trim off that flower right there. Just like that. Aloha. So 
I'm going to use my two-way glue. And now I can just add some stickles anywhere I want. I'll put some inside the flower. And maybe some on my Aloha too. And because this creative feature is available with every icon, you have lots of choices for making really cute cards. So I just add a little bit of paper on the inside of the card and you could round the corners, add some gemstones, so have fun with it. Anyway, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.